most need of our friend Hal Hercules to invite us to his carnival act. Yeah, I can't wait to see what Hal does to prove he's the world's strongest teenager. Introducing the world's strongest teenager, the one and only Harold Hal Hercules! to visit Hal in his tent after the show. Here it is, Harold, Hal, Achilles. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> ooh, 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 what was that? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Hal. And look at his eyes. <laughs> Some kind of new act you're rehearsing, huh? Huh? Yeah! Something's happened to Hal. He's become some sort of monster. <laughs> Away from here, way up on the moon. Moo, moo, moo. You mixed up menace. We gotta find Hal. Ooh, ooh, uh, sorry, pugs. <laughs> Hal's house is just down the block. We'd better be careful. If he's there, he could still be a monster. Yeah, monster. <laughs> The door's ajar and the lights are out. Come on, we're going inside for a look around. Okay, gang, split up and search every room. Nope, nobody in there. It's 
for you. Here's how. Would you mind repeating the message? Isora Krenabra Rasoli. Huh? Where am I? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. That's the last time I answer a phone in this house. Gosh, Biff, Kim, Pugsy, am I glad to see you guys. What's happened to you, Hal? I don't know. All I remember is about a week ago, I got a strange letter. It said my life was in grave danger, that help awaited me in the tent of Zorak, the great Swami. So, I went into the Swami's tent. Welcome. You were wise to heed my warning note, powerful one. Only I, Zorak, can help you. My friend, you are safe now. And I can't remember a thing since then. The way I figure it, that Swammy turned you into a horrible monster. Yeah, worse than me even. <laughs> Come on, gang. We're going back to the carnival. And we're gonna keep an eye on that Mr. Zorak. <laughs> Okay, Pugs, Kim and I will cover the rear of the Swami's tent. Gotcha. And Fangface and me will cover the front. Look, look! <laughs> what? What? It's the Swami! <laughs> Let's follow him. Not like this. We've got to get into disguises and then follow him. Yeah, yeah, disguises, disguises. <laughs> Are you following me? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm merely a nice, tenderfying, my cute little darling. Are you trying to tell me that is a baby? Sure. Watch. <laughs> What's that? Um, that's baby's furry foot warmer. Yeah, see? <coughs> Keeps me little footsies nice and cozy. <coughs> Will you knock it off? You'll blow our disguises. Just as I thought. What are you up to? We're up to not letting you know what we're up to. Let's amscray! Yeah, yeah, hamscray! Amscray! Goo goo go, go. So, the meddlers think they can fool me. They will soon regret interfering with Sorak. is clear. Now's our chance to search Zorak's tent. Maybe we can find something to connect him to what's happened to Hal. Ooh, ooh, ooh! What have we here? <coughs> Aha! A typewriter! <coughs> that ain't no typewriter! Watch! This is what operates that tricky swammy's tricky tricks. Watch. Hey! Now what do we do, Pugs? Huh? Huh? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Look at this, Biff. It looks like some kind of secret plan. Let go, you big bag of bones! Let go! Willikers, what was that? Come on! 
Uh, what happened? Uh, we ran into a couple of flying weirdos. And it looks like you discovered some kind of weirdo transmitter and some kind of strange crystal. I seen that thing someplace before, but I can't disremember where. Me too. I'll just hold on to it. Maybe we'll remember later. Right now, we're following the secret plan and heading for the waterfront. <laughs> They took all my bait. So the plans you found showed a map leading to the warehouse on Pier 9. Right. And there were notes about a ship unloading gold bullion there tonight. And you figure eight, the Swammy is gonna steal the gold with Hal's resistance. You mean assistance? We're sure the Swami is somehow controlling Hal. And we're gonna stop him. Yeah! <laughs> that Swami will be sorry he fooled with our pal Hal. <laughs> Pier 9 Warehouse. Come on! The gold and the Swami should be inside by now. I think we're on a wild goose race. There ain't no gold bunion around here. Sharon Macabra Hiramic! Yikes! Biff's in a monstrosity state just like hell! We gotta help him! I'll do it! I'll help him! <laughs> Now calm down, Biff, or I'll just have to... You cannot stop me! Look at this picture of the sun! Huh? Where am I? Huh? Oh, hi, Biff. How come your eyes are all red? Didn't you get enough sleep? Gee, all I did was ask. You don't have to get so nasty. No, Biff! No! It's us! Yikes! We're traptified. Ooh, ooh! What's wrong with Biff? Why is he hooking us to this conveyor, huh? Who? Why? Why? Jump and ignopotamuses! This conveyor's rigged to take us out over the water and dump us! Fools! I have tricked you. And now your two friends will get the gold for me, which is, of course, at a different pier. <laughs> Golly! Look at Hal's medallion! It must be a hypnotic device, and it's the same as the one Biff put in his pocket! Which means that crummy Swammy is using it to emote control Hal and Biff. We gotta escape and save him. Kilona Bisol Kapadra. What's happening? We can't move! They're stealing the gold! Drop any second! Do something, pugs! Quick, close all the windows. These bug-sized foreign cars can float. You were right, Pugsy. We're floating. Yeah, so we're floating. So what if a whale swallows us, or a shark gets us, or a submarine torpedoes us, or... Eh, shut up. We gotta do something fast. What we need is Fang Face. I was afraid you was gonna say that, but you're right. Fangs, look at the moon. Huh? Why should I look at the moon? Moon, moon, moon. Sorry, pugs. Sometimes I can't control myself, but I'm saving us. Soon 
I will move the gold out of the country, and nobody can stop me. They're all in the tent. Yeah, and the only way we can save Biff and Hal is to get the Swammy's hypnovisor gizmo. Yeah, how are we gonna get it? How, how? Simple. You're gonna make like a gopher, burrow under the tent until you're right under the Swammy's hypno transmitter, then yank it down and bring it back to us. Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I knew it was up above somewhere. I got it! I got it! Good work, Fang Face. Get them! Tough luck, Swammy. Without your whatchamacallit machine, you can't give them reorders. But I can. You will never capture me. All the gold. Biff! Hell! Wake up, you guys! Wake up! Nothing's happening! What Pugs means is... Bizarra! Crenabra! Razuli! Huh? Where am I? What's happened? Yeah, what are we doing outside the Swami's tent? We'll explain later. Right now, we've got to catch the Swami before he escapes. You call the police, Hal. We'll split up and go after the Swami. <laughs> Swammy, dead ahead. He's climbing up the high diver's tower. <laughs> you get a mo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for a crash landing, fools! Yikes! He's moved a barrel of water away! Shift gears! There he goes! Ooh, ooh! He's going into the hot air balloon ride! You are too late, meddlers! That's what you think, you fortune-telling phony. Okay, Fang Face, stop him. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I'll stop him. <laughs> but I'll need your help. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You did great. You got the swimmy and the gold. Thanks for helping me clear myself. And thanks for capturing the swami and the gold. Well, I guess everybody's safe from the slippery swami now. Yeah, and just to be sure I'll be safe from you know who, I'll show Fangface my picturization of the sun. <laughs> What's happened? Where am I, huh? Yeah, it's them two red-eyed monster creatures! Help! I gotta hide! Come back, you ninny! They're normalized now! No! No, never, never! You can't fool me! I know a howl creature and a best creature when I see it! 